For God to allow us to fall, to sin is a plan work. He wants to communicate how love is revealed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the book of Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 10 from verse 12, hatred strives strive, but love covers all sin. Without sin, you can't explain love. Without offense, you can't understand what forgiveness is. Without somebody hurting you, you can't understand what mercy is. So God is trying to tell a story of love. So we have to sin. We have to fall. And he has to forgive our sin, wash us clean. That is the only way to explain love. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. We have to offend him. We have to run away from him, separate ourselves from God came as men. We now separate ourselves from him. Then for him now to reconcile us back to himself, to wash away our sin, that is the perfect way to tell the story of love. If anybody have not offended you and you say you have love for them, you are a liar. God will be a liar if he does not explain this thing like this. For us to fall, sin, and he has to cover every sin. That's the only way to narrate love. Say, I'm acting, I'm acting. The, story the story of love. Of love. Uh, see how your children provoke you, provoke you. Some of them can be failed, 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 failed in school. And you will not be ashamed to call them your children. You still be paying their school fees. Are you hearing me? That is the love we are talking about. Do you see all the many errors your children are making while they are growing up? Some of them, they poo poo everywhere, scatter everything, pour something down. You see, you see, go and clean them up. Love cannot be revealed until there is error. So while we were still with him, he allowed us to lose everything we once had. He is, he is the one. See what Jesus was praying in John 17 from verse 5. Let me see that. Story. He said, And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Don't read Jesus and say Jesus is preaching on it's, it's you that is that is saying this thing. Are, are you seeing that? This is the story of Job we are reading here now. Just as God took everything from Job, is the way he took his glory from us and brought us to become men. Because he wants to narrate the story. Read it, let's see. Say, and now, don't read it as if it's Jesus that is saying it's you that is reading now. And now, oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was, there was something we had with him. We all agreed to act this movie, to explain what love really is. Have you ever watched a movie where the beginning of the movie would be an old man sitting a little child and all of a sudden, a mostly in Nigerian movie, it happened. The camera will zoom into the old man's face, vroom. And the whole of the movie from beginning to end will be the old man narrating the story. At the end, they will now show the old man I'm back again with the children and I say, that is how this thing happened. That is why it is called like this. That is what is going on with us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. When I was very small, seven years old, you see, I didn't forget this movie because God kept on reminding me this movie. When I was small, seven years, I watched one movie where one man went to a zoo and he saw monkey eating egg. And the man took egg from monkey and eat monkey egg. Are you hearing me? May you know I have long truth in Jesus' name. <laughs> he took egg from the monkey. Now, when the man ate that egg, the whole movie changed from the man and the monkey into the man's stomach. So, are you, are you understanding? Yeah. Just as a movie reach, it's now your turn to play. So, the movie switched from physical world into the man's stomach. Now, that egg became gems. And they were not living. They had car. They were going to the club. They built everything inside the man's stomach. They were cartoon. They were enjoying themselves, partying. Why they are partying? The man is in pain. Someone said monkey egg. <laughs> so it, the man was, throughout the movie, from the beginning, only the place they show was when the man ate that, ate, ate, ate that egg. But from the beginning to the ending, it was inside the man's stomach. How they built house, how the gems built go to the club, how they were driving car. Now the man sent one tablet. The tablet was yellow and red capsule. The capsule got into the stomach. He wanted to fight, but the grooving was too much. The part, the, the gems, they, they, they changed his mind. So instead of him to fight the gems, he started partying with them. They even gave him a car. So, <laughs> are you hearing somebody? He forgot why he was there. Then, 
He, he started tormenting the man more, 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 more. Until one day the man wanted to die. And he went to the hospital again. Then they gave him another one. Another tablet. That tablet was discipline. Immediately he came, he wiped away all the gems. And all of them died. That was the end of the movie. We are like that first tablet that entered inside the stomach and we forgot why we were here. The second tablet is Jesus that came to wipe away everything. <laughs> are you hearing somebody? Yes, sir. Tell anybody we are acting. Yes, Look at the book of Psalm 90 from verse 1. See that scripture there. It will shock you. He said, Lord, you have been our dwelling place. We have been staying inside you in all generations. Uh -huh. Meaning before Genesis, before let there be light, we have been dwelling inside of you. He said, before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you have formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Mm -hmm. You turn man to destruction. You plan this thing. And say, return again, O, o children of men. Uh -huh. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You carry them away like a flood. They are like a sleep. We are sleeping. We don't know where we came from. They are like a sleep. Do you know when you are sleeping on your bed, you are still alive? You are still alive. Your system, they are still functioning. And while you are sleeping there on your bed, somebody can come inside your house and be doing anything, take anything you want. You are sleeping, you are alive. So you might be walking like this now. You don't know you are sleeping. The day we leave this body is when you wake up. Say, oh, what is this what has been going on? So sleep means unconscious. So be awake means consciousness. So when the Bible says, do not sleep, it means come out of being unconscious. It's not talking about you closing your eyes. No, it's talking to your mind. Awake from unconsciousness. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Understand this thing that is going on. So anytime you hear Jesus say, I am the bread of life, he's speaking as one that is conscious of where he's from. The reason why you cannot be boldly to say, I am the bread of life, is because you are sleeping. It's not that you are not the bread of life, it's just that you are sleeping. It's a sleeping state. Those in sleeping states love those kind of prayers. And deliverance. You are sleeping. You don't know who you are. I said, God said in the in the Old Testament, in Leviticus, He said, do not regard those with familiar spirits. That means some Romans, witches. He said, don't regard them. Drive them away or stone them to death. He didn't say pray them to death. When you wake up in the midnight, witch in my ass, die, die, die. Oh, fire! Witch, witch. You see, you, do you know what you are doing? Kill one with 20 will come and look for you. Evil spirit is like rat. You know rat? Rat is not a pet. Rat is not domestic animal. Rat is not carnivorous. He's just on his own realm. He can eat your leg. He can eat your paper. He can eat your clothes. He can eat your food. He can eat anything. And the day you say you want to use rat poison to catch it, it will die in a place where you don't know. And it will be smelling. Your whole room will be smelling. If you say you want to use rat gum, one day the rat gum will catch you. If you say you want to use rat trap, one day the trap will catch your own leg. And one day you say you manage to catch where the rat is hiding and you killed it, you thought you have killed it. Next week you will see many rats, all these children, they are inside the house. They don't finish. Witches are like rats. If you attack one, you have invited many witches, you will not stop killing witches till you die. These are demons of bread. <laughs> They say, oh, they're always fighting me. Which, my family, which, 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 which. If you keep talking, which, Marine, 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 oh, oh God, Marine, Marine. Yes, they will come. The best thing is to know that it's you that created the rat. It's you that made him to be eating those things. We decided to create it. We and the Father. Say, we. We created it. Created. So what's wrong for you to accommodate to you create? <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. God is using us to tell that story. God is story of love. To so anybody that say, I love you, and you have not heard that person, it's a fake love. It's, it's fake, it's fake. Love must be tested. So two things, God is trying to communicate the story of love. God is trying to test himself. You think God cannot test himself? He can test himself. Matthew 4 from verse 1. The Bible says, the Holy Spirit led Jesus to be tempted by the devil. Who led him? Is it demon? You are not reading. <laughs> 
Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit to be tempted by the devil. So God is testing himself. As you are telling the story of law, you will be tested. Let's see whether you are really merciful. Let's see whether you can really reconcile them even if they have done evil. That is why the mystery of this faith is that if you don't know and then you don't know you don't have power and there's a witch in somebody's family and that witch kill everybody, drink their blood. Any day that we say, I give my life to Christ, I'm sorry. Love covers multitude of sins. Yes, that which will be forgiven. Whether the people he killed died and went to hell, it's not accounted. The last account they know is that the witch say, I'm sorry. And what is love? It covers multitude of sins. This is why you should not be ignorant and powerless. So that's why when they brought a woman to Jesus, she, she committed adultery. They said, this woman was caught in the acts. They were saying, what, what, what is love going to do? And love said, if any of you do not sin, Cast the first stone. That is the reply of love. And everybody dropped their stone. The Lord asked the woman, Woman, where are your condemners? Where are those judging you? It's me that have the power to judge you. I have covered your sin. It was a movie. Everything is a movie. Let's read it. John 17, 5 again. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Verse 21. See the prayer I was praying. Did Jesus just came to narrate who we are, what we are, Everything you see him saying is just trying to bring us back to memory. Wake us from this sleep we have been sleeping for long. He said that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them. That they may be one, just as we are one. Why will he be praying that you should be one with him if you were not one with him from the beginning? Do you think it's that day it just happened? No. You always hear in the Bible, in the beginning it was not so. Whatsoever was not so in the beginning, you can't come and do it in the middle. It was because from the beginning it was so that we have been one with God. We have the same glory with him. That is what he's trying to restore back again. He's trying to narrate the story back to you. Philippians 2 5 again. Now you are going to put yourself in this scripture you're about to. Let this mind be in me, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now let's assume this one is a thief. Let's assume this one is a singer. Now, and I say, let this mind be in him that was in this one. The meaning I'm removing this one's mind. I'm removing the old one he have and put, put his mind here. Now, if I carry this man's mind and put here, if I have this one, now what is your name? This one's former name. If this one's name was John, if I, because I've infused a mind on him. If I ask him what is your name, you say, I'm John. What do you do? I sing. Everything this one was had, everything this one learned, everything this one is, this one will begin to say, that is who he is. So, if I say, I am the Lord Jesus, I'm not making a mistake. The mind that was in John, let this mind be in Stephen. Now, if this one name was Stephen, this one name was John. Now, I carry this one's mind and put here. If he has this one now, what is on? He will forget that it's Stephen. He will say it's John. Every information, everything this one sees himself to be, that is who he will be saying he is. He will say, I'm the bread of life. I am the resurrection. I am the life. Are you hearing me? Yes. He does not see himself as that former thief again. Are you hearing me? Who are you? Ask your neighbor, who are you? Who are you? What did he say? Some, some are not, some are still scared to say it. Put that scripture again. Philippians 2. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now, next verse. Now, now begin to put yourself there. Say, I, I being be in the form of God, in the form of God did, not consider it did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Uh -huh. Next verse. But I made myself of no reputation taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men mm -hmm. and being found in the appearance as a man. I humble myself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has also as highly exalted me and given me a name. That's why Jesus gave you the name. He said, in my name. 